Hi, my name is Kaylee Barnes, and I'm currently a CNA student at Cave City High School. One of the first things we learn in the course is how important hand washing is to our own personal hygiene as well as the health of others around us. Wash hand washing is the number one way to fight infection and to stop the spread of diseases. With that in mind, let's go over the steps. The first thing you need to do before you even start washing your hands is to get plenty of paper towels. You want the paper towels to be able to dry your hands off and then to turn the sink off when you're done so you don't get anything else contaminated. The first, thing you, the first thing you need to do is to keep friction just like this for about 20 seconds. Now normally when people do this, they sing a little song like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Happy Birthday, or even your ABCs. Now in order to make sure you get 20 seconds, you want to be able to sing it about two times, just to make sure it is exactly 20 seconds. And if you have to go over 20 seconds, that's fine. Just no less than 20. You know, while you're doing this, you also make sure you get in between your fingers, just like this. And then after you get 20 seconds of friction, you need to start on the back of your hands. Make sure you get in between your fingers again, on top of your fingers, just all this to make sure it's thoroughly scrubbed. Now when you're scrubbing the back of your hands, you also need to keep in mind your thumbs and the back of your hand. If you miss this, that's still contaminated skin. That's still contaminated skin that can possibly give a disease to someone else. So you want to make sure you get this and your whole thumb. The next thing you need to do is to take your fingertips and rub them on your palms like this. This gets underneath your fingernails which can host millions of germs. So you want to really make sure you get that in there. Next you're going to take your hand just like this around your wrist and rotate about three or four times just to make sure that you get your whole wrist clean because even up to here that can touch somebody else's skin and possibly spread more germs. And when you dry your hands, you want to make sure that you dry them completely. Your wrists, your hands, your thumbs, your fingers, completely dry. You don't want any wetness on your hands. Next, you need to take your other paper towel and turn the sink off. You don't want to touch the sink because that will just contaminate your hands and you'll have to start all over. Now remember, hand washing is the number one way to stop the spread of infection and disease. My name is Kaylee Barnes and thank you for watching.